All right, today we're looking at the history command. If we look at the man page for that, it's going to give you basically the history of the commands that you've run on your system. Running history, you'll notice that we've got a number on the left side, a date, a time, and the actual command. Now, you've got to consider that when commands like this came about, there were no mice, there wasn't the standard copy and paste, and so the history command came in handy for rerunning commands without mistyping them. So you won't want to miss the next two days because I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily interact with these commands without a bunch of retyping. Back on the Mac side, you've also got a history command. And again, same type of idea. I have not cleared my history in quite a while, so there are a bunch of them. Come back tomorrow and you'll see the first tip on how to use these.